Hey folks, Reloading Bench back with you again, doing something a little bit different. Um, and this is not reloading related, so this is uh, back on my cash register restoration project. Uh, if any of you have ever restored something, uh, you'll know that uh, finding parts for exactly what you're looking for can be challenging. Uh, eBay, Craigslist, that's all out there, but it uh, comes down to what price. So. Um, there's a number of pieces that uh, I'm looking for, especially small screws on, uh, on the cash register. But I came across uh, somebody locally uh, within about a 40 mile radius that uh, was selling what was uh, what I would call a trashed uh, national cash register, uh, 1905 uh, to 1910 ish, so uh, on a 300 series, very similar to what I was doing. And I thought, you know, for what he's asking and what parts cost, I'm sure that I'd be able to uh, pull some parts off that particular chassis. So, uh, and I was right. Um, and I'll start with a couple of things here. So I'll call this, uh, normally I would do a before, during, and after kind of video or picture. So I'll call this after, during, and before. So throughout the uh, few minutes I'm talking to you, I'll flash pictures throughout the video of some of the before. But essentially, this particular chassis, uh, this cash register, was uh, what I would call steampunked. So whoever had this, I don't know if it was the person I bought it from or somebody before him, but uh, they tried to do a uh, refinish on uh, the brass, and it looks like they used a grinder to kind of give it a uh, antiqued, steampunkish, patina kind of look. And you'll see some from the pictures that uh, I'm hopefully displaying as I talk through this that it was pretty trashed. One of the things you'll notice is the lid counter. The lid counter that you see here, uh, and this is the finished product after, um, and you'll see some telltale signs of the pictures. Um, I didn't really do anything on the inside other than completely disassemble it, some little cleaning, but when you see uh, the picture of this in the, uh, what I would call the before state, uh, it kind of looked half charred, uh, like blow tar blowtorch charred, and the other half looked kind of silvery-ish. Uh, it had two screws holding it into the mount, and it had um, this corner and that corner welded in to this to this frame. So uh, I had to essentially chip with. Uh, with some chisels, the two uh, the two welds, and then take a uh, a drill and kind of drill it out so that I could free this and then work on this. But uh, as you can see, it just came out magnificent and it works great. If I can get in there and and you'll see that change. So uh, just awesome. And these go for maybe. 35 to 100 bucks on eBay depending on you know if all the gears are working especially this one with the tooth in it so that all the others will turn correctly so uh, this came out great and what I found interesting was okay so then I thought I'll experiment with some of the media that I've got the different media more aggressive versus not but uh, as you can see from the pictures um, when I started uh, on this and the, and the biggest telltale sign is what he had done to the edges uh, and I'll be polishing these edges to a high gloss um, but uh, when you look at what this finish looked like especially in the corners where it was ground to almost destroy it um, this just looked completely trashed completely trashed and uh, with just a few minutes of uh, the, the right media to clean it and then a media change to kind of uh, buff it out in terms of uh, bead blast. Um, it has a really, really nice uh, finish to it. So the rest of the register is also trashed with the same look as the pictures you'll see from this. So uh, depending on what I want to do, I was thinking of uh, kind of cleaning those pieces up and maybe putting them online for sale uh, and then keeping uh, some of the other pieces that I'll use for different parts of uh, my cash register restoration. But uh, just amazing some of the before and after stuff of uh, of what this looked like or even what this looked like for uh, for doing 
the right approach with a better set of tools than, uh, than a grinder. So more to come.